We're having a grown-up moment for AI today. It's January 27th, and we are making the stocks go down. People sometimes ask me to give stock advice, and I don't, and this isn't stock advice. But NVIDIA is down 11% pre-market, which is kind of a big deal considering they're in the trillions for valuation. And Microsoft is down like 4%, Meta's down. Everybody is losing today in the stock market. Why? Why are tech companies taking a beating? It's because of AI, and specifically, it's because of a company that can't launch an AI feature. That's right, a company I have not mentioned, which seems to be doing better than most, ironically. It's Apple. Apple's App Store is still the place where ordinary stock traders go to find out what is going on with AI, I guess. Because DeepSeek hit number one in the Apple App Store over the weekend, and that panicked a lot of traders because it's effectively what DeepSeek offers is ChatGPT for free. It offers ChatGPT for free. It's quite good. The model has personality. They claim it was basically trained on a couple of Chromebooks. And I've read the white paper, and by the way, I don't say that to denigrate because it is incredible mathematics and incredible engineering work. So really well done. The question remains, whether or not you believe that they trained it on such a light set of chips, how on earth are they keeping up with the spike in demand for compute that goes with millions and millions of people supposedly downloading your app to try it? No one has been talking about issues with DeepSeek serving all of those new requests. They are getting some chips from somewhere. The story is absolutely more complex than you think. It is perfectly possible for this to be an incredibly well-engineered model that advances state-of-the-art in a lot of ways, and also it may be hiding chips. It can be both. So at the end of the day, I think what ordinary investors are worried about who don't sit here and stare at AI all day is they think that if this thing used fewer chips, we are going to need less chips in the future. They also think that if a model can be copied. It means that the moat that they are betting that these large companies are building with their technical investments isn't a moat. And look, I got to tell you, if you thought that you could have a moat with a model, you don't know AI. The moat is the innovation edge. The moat is not a model that no one can ever copy ever. It's not how it works. But apparently it's how Wall Street thought it worked. Now, the reason why you invest in AI or not, and this is not investment advice, this is just sort of an observation. You invest in AI if you believe the rocks have begun to think and there is essentially an infinite demand for intelligence. If there's an infinite demand for intelligence, it does not matter whether more intelligence becomes available, you will always want more of it. And somewhere, somehow, there will be plenty of market for companies to have pricing power with intelligence. If you don't think there's an infinite demand for intelligence, then you are going to assume that we will have no demand for further intelligence at some point, and a company like DeepSeek will just soak up the market with a free offering. DeepSeek has to make money too, at some point. Like, I guess to me, I look at this, I'm like, the only way DeepSeek as a model existed is because other models delivered state-of-the-art chain of thought reasoning built on immense compute. And I assure you, given the cash burn OpenAI is facing, if there was a magical way to do this with less chips, they would have done it. And now that DeepSeek has open sourced their entire approach, that's great for everybody because it means that everybody can learn from all of these advances, uh, Mark Zuckerberg reportedly went into founder mode over the weekend because he was so mad about sort of meta and llama and falling behind on DeepSeek. So don't worry. They will take all the learnings they can from that paper, and then they will put their billions of dollars to work. Um, but net-net, at the end of the day, billions of dollars are on the table because advancing the state of the art one, requires a lot of chips, and two, then requires a lot of chips to serve. If you make a request for inference compute, it you're, you're buying server time. Sam Altman has said they lose money on O1 Pro at $200 a month because people use it so much. That's how much it costs. 
I think that Jensen will be fine. I really do. Um, so we'll see. This, none of this is investment advice, but it's sort of a moment when AI is big enough to make multi-trillion dollar companies take a hit. And that's what we're seeing today. All right. Who knows where it's going next?